We are a little more than 24 hours away from the end of Title 42, a controversial pandemic era immigration policy. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. Well, this means migrants seeking political asylum from South America now have the ability to cross into the United States without being immediately sent back home. We have team coverage tonight. KPRC2 Candace Burns alive in the newsroom with how the end of Title 42 will affect us here in the Houston area. But first, we start with KPRC2's Mario Diaz, who joins us from Brownsville, where he spoke to migrants who are looking to start a new life in the United States. As the sun sets in Brownsville this evening, so does Title 42, which now means that any immigrant seeking political asylum in the United States, more likely than not, will not be turned back at the border. Brian Olivero is happy to be in Texas. Venezuela is now behind him, and he's looking forward to a life in New York City with his son, Brayden. Their story is just one of thousands crossing every day into Brownsville. An abandoned golf course has become the epicenter for a surge of migrants, the like of which this city has never seen before. Tens of thousands of migrants have entered in recent months, and with Title 42 ending in less than 24 hours, thousands more are expected. The streets of this border city filled primarily with Venezuelans in search of the American dream. The blue bag that nearly all were carrying, a symbol that they have been processed by the federal government and good to go on to their next stop. El sueldo mínimo es un dólar. Minimum wage is one dollar. ¿Y qué puede hacer uno con un dólar acá? And what can someone do with that? Sí. Rosie Carrillo was a security guard back home. Her focus now is on a more secure life with an aunt in Georgia. Yo soy médico en mi país. Nickerson Camacho is 30. Back in Venezuela, he was a doctor specializing in plastic surgery. ¿Por qué un doctor se está yendo de Venezuela a los Estados Unidos? Why is a doctor leaving Venezuela to come to the U.S.? Por la mala calidad de vida que hay. Because of the bad lifestyle that you have. See. The lifestyle in the United States moving forward is far from simple. What awaits nearly all these individuals now is a future court date with an American immigration judge to ensure that they are contributing to their new homeland, as they indicated they would be in the future. In Brownsville, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.